Salvation Mountain was created by this one guy, Leonard. And um, basically, I think he was a either Vietnam or Korean War veteran. And when he came back from the war, he just didn't really want to be around other people and kind of had this whole um, epiphany about religion and that it was very simple. It was God is love, you repented Jesus Christ and organized re religions were just too complicated. So he basically moved out here to Nyland, California, in the middle of the desert, as you can see, and just started creating this monument to his concept that God is love. And um, he didn't have any, he lived out here. He lived here at Salvation Mountain and um, he didn't have any electricity or running water. And he basically just created this out of what he could find. A lot of it is kind of adobe mud bricks and then covered in plaster and painted. And um, he started this, I believe, in the 80s. Lived here for a number of years until he got too old to really live out here alone. He ended up dying in, I think it's a 2014. Um, you can actually walk all over this. As you can see by the sign, they said to please stay on the yellow brick road. Um, it is very slippery. This is just slick plaster with slick paint. So if you do decide to climb up here, tread carefully. It's very slippery. So um, you do not want to fall. I just talked to the gentleman who is the caretaker out here. He um is employed. I don't really know if he's paid for his efforts, but uh, by the nonprofit organization who kind of looks after this to be the caretaker. And he um, is currently repairing a bunch of the cracks because like I said, it's just basically clay and straw with paint over it. So it literally is just constant maintenance on it. And you can see kind of the different patchworks of stuff that um, is him repairing all these little places and then repainting it. But he told me that they do get people out here helping him do pieces of it, but that it's basically just him. That he, um, he never knew Leonard himself, but he is a huge, you know, fan and obviously appreciates all of this to basically spend his life right now maintaining it. Very interesting group of people out here. It is just a very popular place to come and stop if you're out here. As you can see, they have all these kind of subsidiary cars and things that are also all painted. Um, I think this is probably where the caretaker lives right here. You can see just everything is just covered in Leonard's uh, thoughts on God and religion and here's a boat, because why not? downtown street by the way this it's awesome the post office is right there and then boom this <laughs> 